I'm gonna keep banning this Beatrix until everyone stops using shotgun only. Hmm, it looks like everyone already has their pick. And it's up to me and Slot5 to pick a hero. Hmm, I'm feeling good today, so I think I'm going to break the golden rule. And let Slot5 go to the XP lane while I pick this very underrated hero. I mean, I don't think I've seen him for this entire year in any of my games, so I guess it's up to us to see if he's still worth it. Did I play him as jungler last time? Because I had retribution. Also, I wanted to use flicker, but the enemy has Moscow, so we'll keep our vengeance. We don't want him turning us into Wagyu barbecue in the late game, right? And now that we are in the game, let's head over to I'm not sure where. I kind of want to babysit Mia, but let's uh, go to the mid lane first. Let's help our granny mage here clear the minions as fast as we can so that she can get to level 2. So that she can go with us to the bot lane because it looks like Mia could use our help. And I'm not saying that she needs our help, I am just saying that if we want our team to secure kills, then someone has to tank the tower but that's not gonna be me because I baited our Valentina into diving in. We still got the kill and remember guys it's not my kill, it's our kill. And back to the mid lane we go where we have an annoying raccoon who's trying to get some gold off our tower. Wait a minute. I think our jungler might need our help because I've heard news that a bunch of monkeys got out of the zoo. It's probably this Raffaella who let those monkeys out. Those monkeys are locked up in the zoo for a reason. It's because they like hitting cows like me with their long sticks. Hey Granny Mage, could you help me out? I'm the target here. Why are you running with me? They're not even trying to hit you. But that is fine. That is probably revenge for having her dive the tower earlier. At least now we can call it quits, I guess. So let's focus our attention to this yummy turtle soup. Wait, someone's trying to take it. It's that raccoon. Isn't that turtle too big for you, little lady? Also, could you stop littering the area with your molinas? I'm pretty sure there's a garbage bin somewhere for that trash skill. Meanwhile, I think it's time for Beast Wars again because it's cow versus monkey all over again. Luckily for us, we have finally reached level 4 so it's time to start the party with a boom boom boom. I'm pretty sure that this Raffaella enjoyed multiple smashing and what the heck? Oh, she killed me with her passive. So I'm guessing that's a no on the enjoying the smashing part. Hmm, I better pay more attention to our marksman because she is getting two versus one. And I'm not sure if I can take on these two enemies at once, especially when they have this annoying Moskov. I guess I'll just stay here in the bush and eat grass like a normal cow while I wait for our teammates to get here. And that's what I would say if I was a patient cow but unfortunately I'm not and I really have to defend this tower before they get more gold out of it. And now that my job at the bot lane is done, it's time to go back to the bot lane because they are at it again. You know what, if this Raffaella is going to babysit his Moskov then I really should do the same. I don't see the Moskov anymore though, we only have this Raffaella who will um, waste her ult on us so that's pretty good I guess. And Miss Valentina, why do you even copy the cloning technique of that monkey? It's pretty useless on you isn't it? I guess she wants to uh, know how it feels like to be a monkey for a day. Get ready guys, it might be time for Beast Wars again if we can catch this monkey. And where do you think you're going, my banana eating friend? Uh, nice ult on that clone, Mr. Nightboy. You really got him. One shot, one hit, delete. In the meantime, I think it's time for us to get out of here. I'm taking a lot of damage and these enemies really want corned beef for their dinner. But that's good that they used everything on me. That means that our teammates can do their job and that is to um, feed that Moskov, I guess. You know what, I think I see a bright future with this Mia. She's uh, taking the objectives while the enemies are distracted. She might be our only chance in winning this game, so I'll make sure that she's able to do what she needs to do. And that is focus on dealing damage while the enemies are knocked up in mid-air. Nice one, Mr. Knife Boy, turtle soup for us, and um, double kill for the enemy. That's not a good trade. Dang, look at that Moskov getting fed. 
I should have probably gotten an armor first, so um, I guess we'll just uh, ignore that build and manually buy our items from now. Anyways, let's focus on babysitting this Mia like I promised. We should probably stick with her until she has destroyed all the towers here in the bot lane. And also check these bushes for these two who are always ganging up on her. How does it feel right now, Rafaela, that you can't bully this Mia? Okay, on second thought, they're still bullying us. But that doesn't mean that we can't bully them back. And if you guys decide to let the monkey out of the zoo again, then you guys are gonna pay for it. Didn't your grandma ever tell you that monkeys are no match for cows who are standing on two legs? So I guess our game plan of babysitting this Mia is kinda working. And I think we are gonna continue that until we take down this tower and also maybe the next one. Because that's the only thing that Mia needs. She has damage, she just needs someone to take the damage. And she's uh, running off somewhere. Where are you going Mia? Come back here and take my babysitting. Okay, I guess she got bored of the bot lane and she wants to go somewhere else. That can be arranged. Do you wanna set up something here in this bush? Okay, maybe not. She wants us to uh, take the turtle as she farms the bot lane. Alright, just be careful down there. I'm already having trouble dealing with monkeys and now I have to deal with this dinosaur. How many animals did the enemy fit in their team? But I guess it doesn't matter how many animals they have because they're not gonna have this tasty turtle soup and they're all gonna starve to death. We just have to make sure that our master chef knife boy is not interrupted by this big dino while he's preparing this bowl of turtle soup. See, this dino can't even move right now for lack of proper nutrition. It looks like he snapped out of it, but it's too late. Our Mia that we have been babysitting has already murdered their entire family. And while most of the enemies are dead, this tower is free for the taking, and also maybe this next one. All we have to do now is get under their tower and assert our dominance so that this monkey can't defend and he couldn't have because he's already dead. And also screw karma, why does it happen so fast nowadays? Okay that gives me time to buy this item though for Moskov. And now that I'm alive again, let's head to the bot lane where Mia is as usual. You better wait for me young lady or else we might get into trouble if you die. So don't even think of engaging that Moscow. That's a good girl. So why don't you just uh, eat some grass here with me while we wait for... Okay, never mind. I guess this works too, exposing ourselves and uh, not being able to do anything because he's under his tower. Is anyone gonna take care of that tower there at the bot lane because it's too far and I'm gonna need to stick with our marksman. But what do we have here? Another monkey on the run. That is good though, because now he knows that cows are superior to monkeys. I'm not sure about dinosaurs though, but what I do know is that our Mia is dealing tons of damage now. They really do grow up so fast it puts a tear in my eye. And to finish up our pest extermination, just uh, get rid of that raccoon and we are good to go. Hey knife boy, what do you mean take lord? Why don't we just take base or something? There's only one monkey here, okay maybe two or three, but it doesn't matter because everyone knows you don't have to fear any monkeys as long as I am here. But now it's time to take a spot and that is a perfect Moo Moo Cow victory selfie. I think it's the very first one that we have ever had with Minotaur and it feels great. So yeah, that's gonna be our Minotaur gameplay. A tank that I don't see a lot in my games these days, but he doesn't seem underpowered. So I hope you had fun watching this Minotaur gameplay. Again, my name is Shinman Takizo. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and check out our recent uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. If you want to see me play your favorite hero, just search in YouTube for Shinman plus the hero name or just wait for me to upload one. And thank you for subscribing to our channel, it really helps out a lot. Always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of yourself, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace!